Hello people, in this video let us look at liver secondaries, means the liver is getting affected after something else is affected. So basically the liver is receiving cancer from elsewhere, the cancer being present elsewhere is coming to the liver now. So this is liver secondaries, metastasis to the liver from elsewhere. From where then? It could have come from the stomach, the colon, the rectum, the pancreas. Malignant melanoma it can be because of your epidermis, those melan melanocytes, etc. Testicular tumors and ovarian also they have shown in this photo, right? So these are the places from where they come, okay? So from where and all are they coming people? They are all coming from the stomach, rectum, colon, then malignant melanoma, testicular tumor, pancreas, etc. See some of these, uh, what will happen? Uh, precocious, uh, precocious metastasis. That is, before the primary is known itself, it will come off in the liver and you can detect it. Like um, uh, colon, carcinoid is what? Rectal carcinoma. What is this carcinoid? So basically, it is a slow growing cancer, neuroendocrine. They begin in the digestive tract, stomach, appendix. All those are carcinoid tumors, okay? Slow growing tumors from neuroendocrine tumor, stomach, etc. You remember. So basically, before you can detect the stomach cancer, uh, you may detect liver. Uh, you, before you detect uh, rectal carcinoma, you can detect uh, the metastasis to the liver. That's why this uh, stomach cancer, they say it is silent, right? S stomach cancer is silent. Its symptoms will is appearing elsewhere. Now coming to late one, metachronus. Metachronus means after the treatment of the primary, then this one is appearing. So years after you have treated melanoma, amputed that guy's the foot, leg, everything done, then it is appearing in the liver, that is metachronus. Okay, so you will think it's over and done, malignant melanoma. No, then it will start, start appearing in the liver. Now, what is synchronous then? Synchronous is something which is appearing together, like carcinoma, stomach, primary and the metastasis, both are getting detected at the same time. Now, is this good or bad? You are getting to know that you have stomach cancer and it has already spread to the liver. This should not be a green, what do you say? None of this is good because it has all of these are metastasis. That means it has already gone beyond the original place, right? None of these are good. Okay. Now, uh, there are some specialities of our liver secondaries that, uh, like we told you, malignant melanoma of choroid, years after the treatment of the primary, it can up, the secondary can appear in the liver. Okay. And uh, what else? There are a lot of rules here. If you want to look at that, you can look. Now, let's go forward. So, look at this. Um, there is nodular liver here. So you can see here in the first image, there is nodular liver and there is a palpable gallbladder. So there's a huge gallbladder which can palpate. So there's an enlarged gallbladder. That means they are saying it is mostly indicative of what? Carcinoma head of the pancreas. Okay. So remember, you have already seen this in that rule, right? Courvoisier's law or something. If a person has jaundice obstructive and if you are uh, able to palpate the gallbladder, then it is not the gallstones which is the cause. It could be the, be very careful, it could be the carcinoma of the pancreas, something like this is there. So that is the importance. Look at this, again there is a nodular liver here and uh, uh, guys look at this one, there is a nodular liver here and the carcinoma is from the colon, okay. Then third image, what are they trying to say here? They are saying to say that the secondary is in the liver from melanoma, okay. This is from melanoma, bulky liver with massive hepatomegaly, so really big liver and there is a missing two. What is it indicating? This guy had ma melanoma, they have also amputated, everything is done. Years after this, this guy is having a secondary in the liver. That is what is called as metachronus or something, right? What is it called as people? Metachronus, yeah. So this is all about liver secondaries, introduction you have had. Now what will be the presenting complaint of these people? They will come with anemia. Why will there be anemia in these people? Because there can be actually stomach cancer. Now what will happen in stomach cancer? Malnutrition, right? So uh, even in carcinoma colon, they will not be absorbing things properly. So why does anemia happen in uh, stomach cancer? Okay, so uh, we told you, right, one is poor con uh, poor uh, nutrition absorption. Then they can have a poor conversion of ferrous to ferric. And they can have hematemesis, so they are vomiting a lot of blood, right? They can be ulcerative lesions. So basically, uh, loss of appetite, poor intake also. So all this will lead to anemia. Jaundice, 
this can be obstructive in nature what they are saying is in uh, in this uh, you will not see cirrhosis okay there is no cirrhosis in uh, liver secondary very very less no cirrhosis actually the thing is um, there is uh, obstructive jaundice like we told you in the uh, carcinoma head of the pancreas or because of periampullary carcinoma that is the ampulla of water right the opening of the pancreas so in the uh, what is that common bile duct so that is where the obstruction is then they will have jaundice obstructive type this is okay bilateral pedal edema why because the uh, enlarged liver is obstructing the inferior vena cava again here it is not because of the protein in the blood not that the liver is not functioning properly they are not blaming that it is the inferior vena cava obstruction that they are blaming on okay because otherwise pedal edema you will say a lot of things right uh, albumin is less or etc etc no here they are saying the inferior vena cava is obstructed so there is edema spine tenderness so touch your spine and see why do you think it is tender because of metastasis has come from the breast prostate bronchus or the kidney from the lung lung, lung bronchus means lung only right so from somewhere like this it has come that means this they didn't include uh, in those that list in that list they didn't include kidney bronchus and all prostate and all now suddenly they are including all this breast also they didn't include right now they are including all this so we'll also go back and we'll add all this to our list what do you see people so go back here and they said that these are the list no we will add to our list what about these why did you leave them out <coughs> so we'll add them okay but i'll put a question mark as usual so they said that if there is spinal ten, uh, uh, spinal what is it spine tenderness it can be because of breast prostate bronchus kidney absent testis and scrotum means there is a seminoma which is arising from an undescended testis so you can just check the scrotum if there is no testis in the scrotum then probably it is a because of the testicular tumor seminoma arising from an undescended testis guys are you with us what are we looking at we are looking at the clinical features of liver secondary so okay clinical features we have looked at what is the anemia jaundice see people bilateral pedal edema spine tenderness absent testis and scrotum etc so you will take history taking these people will have some dull aching continuous pain and based on this you will have to explain what it could be <clears throat> then uh, there's some jaundice there could be some weakness severe back ache constipation they could have had a previous mastectomy or some amputation right mastectomy means they had probably a breast cancer amputation means they had a malignant melanoma probably so all this history will give you a lot of clue okay then um, basically you should understand here that uh, <clears throat> what and all mass can be there in the liver it could be a secondary in the liver it could be a hepatoma or a hydatid cyst the secondary is in the liver the liver will be non tender okay the liver will be non tender there will be no pain the liver will have no uh, non tender will be there the pain is there the dulling pain is there but it is not tender that means when you touch as a doctor there will be no pain this is what they have put in bold here see here uh, focus guys uh, look at this uh, here it is non tender non tender non tender focus here non tender it is <clears throat> it could be nodular the liver is nodular hard both lobes are in enlarged both the lobes are enlarged left and right it is common condition secondary in the liver is so common than a hepatoma or a hydatid cyst can you see that it's a very common condition no wonder they are asking you in the exam people okay <clears throat> and um, what is that's it let's move on some more things are there and if there is a bulky second melanoma what did you see sorry if there is a bulky secondary you saw that remember there was a huge liver here on the in the third image with the liver so huge with all those things that was because of malignant melanoma and next to it they had drawn a foot without a toe right you remember that so it will be bulky secondary okay carcinoid also colloid also what is this colloid now <clears throat> okay now how will you do investigation for these people you will do ultrasound so first thing you get a very easy ct scan pet scan gastrointestinal scopy biopsy sigmoidoscopy colonoscopy go from up to go from down check everything is it stomach cancer is it uh, colon cancer uh, do an abdominal ultrasound find out whether it is uh, pancreas then um, ct ct we already wrote here triple face uh, then pet scan okay we already wrote that here liver biopsy all that we wrote here so everything you will do now how will you manage this liver secondary now this is what is the topic liver secondary how will you manage how will you manage people 
Now there is secondary in the liver. See, it looks so beautiful. How will you treat it? Treat it aggressively. Okay. You may have to give some systemic treatment. You may have to do a hepatic artery chemotherapy infusion embolization. So the embolization means what artery, hepatic artery, you will not allow the <clears throat> blood flow is it hepatic artery chemotherapy directly into the hepatic artery they are trying to give the chemotherapy drugs radio frequency ablation radiotherapy etc and they're even talking about liver resection when will you do liver resection when both the lobes uh, i mean um, are involved less than three metastasis in both the lobes right or solitary metastasis or metastasis confined to one lobe or if there is extra hepatic disease so this time you know they're talking about liver liver resection so what are the surgeries let us look at <clears throat> so we already told you about this embolization some they can use some gel foam savlon etc for embolization so um where are we here Sur surgery means is only palliative okay you're just going to make the person uh, enjoy his remaining life so here they're talking about stomach carcinoma how will you treat that you already know right stomach carcinoma you will do a uh, gastrojejunostomy etc how will you treat per periampillary carcinoma because there is obstruction you will do a bypass a triple bypass to relieve the jaundice so that obstruction you will remove right remove obstruction uh, to treat obstructive jaundice right then uh, palliative gg this is for carcinoma stomach See, carcinoma stomach with secondaries. That is, they are saying that, see, car carcinoma stomach can be treated, but if there are secondaries, that is, this is going to be, be a palliative cure for them, right? So, gastrojejunostomy, this is an, supposed to be an anterior uh, gastrojejunostomy, right? So, you will connect the stomach directly to the uh, jejunum in case the distal uh, stom stomach is involved, okay? So, that you can just avoid that area and avoid the bleeding, etc. Then, um, <coughs> You can resect the primary. Primary resection. Okay, resect the primary. Primary can be resected, they are saying. Obviously. Then, metastasis to one lobe of the liver hepatectomy. That's what we were telling you, liver resection. Chemotherapy, what will you give? Just remember 5 FU. 5 fluoro uracil, isn't it? Just give 5 FU. We will not remember everything. Now coming to embolization, gel foam savlon. What is this gel foam? It's cheap and easy to manipulate. So you will, uh, a catheter is placed in the hepatic artery and substances such as a blood clot or a gel foam are, in, uh, are in, injected. So you will thrombose the hepatic artery resulting in liver necrosis. So the liver will decrease in size and decrease the pain. Oh God, this sounds like. So leads to liver necrosis and decrease in pain i thought necrosis also will cause pain but anyways <clears throat> so you are doing throm therapeutic embolization of what of the hepatic artery okay using a gel foam savlon etc you will embolize that is you will create a block there so let us write one more point here liver necrosis liver size reduce decrease in pain okay savlon sponge and uh, it's not just savlon sponge savlon sponge okay steel coil so many things these are all permanent they are saying steel coil bicrylate all this you can use for permanent embolization okay gel foam is the cheapest so if you write gel foam that should be enough cheapest temporary cheap but temporary <coughs> temporary everything else is permanent let's not forget to write that word cheap though it sounds cheap yeah cheap and not, not or cheap and temporary okay easy to manipulate also gel foam yeah sounds like you can manipulate now let's take a recap the liver secondaries Metastasis to liver from elsewhere, from where? Stomach, colon, rectum, pancreas, malignant melanoma, testicular tumor, breast, prostate, bronchus, kidney, so and so many places. 
Precocious means you can detect the liver metastasis, metastasis before the primary is detected. Synchronous metastasis, you can detect primary and the metastasis at the same time. Metachronous metastasis means you can detect the metastasis or the secondary much after the prior treatment of the primary like malignant melanoma of the choroid or melanoma of the choroid. We are talking about the eye here. Okay. <clears throat> So, um, what happens in uh, head of the pancreas cancer, cancer of the head of the pancreas, the gallbladder is enlarged <coughs> and uh, you are able to palpate the gallbladder. Kurwaisius law, if gallbladder is palpable and this person has or jaundice, obstructive jaundice you are suspecting, then the cause is not gallstones. It could be pancreas cancer. Be careful. That's what they, they said. So, this is understandable. Next, nodular liver and uh, there is, you can find a Carcinoma in the colon, nodular and huge, huge, huge liver, huge liver means it possibly could be because of a melanoma which has already been treated, okay, amputated foot etc, I mean toes. How will these people present? They'll have anemia, jaundice, bilateral pedal edema because of inferior vena cava block, jaundice is also because of block, spinal tenderness. Absent testis and scrotum can indicate a seminoma which has affected the testis which is undescended. History you will take and decide where the primary could be. You have to find out. The liver will not be tender in secondaries in a liver. Liver will not be tender. <coughs> okay. What else? This is a very common condition. Bulky secondary where will you see? Just now you saw malignant melanoma. Investigations you will order ultrasound, CT, PET scan, sigmoidoscopy, colonoscopy, gastrointestinal scopy. Liver biopsy, everything you will order. Then you will decide. Now I am going to treat this aggressively. Systemic treatment. I will directly infuse into this hepatic artery. Into the hepatic artery will infuse some chemotherapy drugs. And uh, we will give it some uh, embolization and radiofrequency, radiotherapy, etc. Et then we will remove that part of the liver, etc. So basically, what are the surgeries you want to treat the primary? Okay, so uh, primary you want to treat like if it is carcinoma of stomach with the secondaries that means you have you cannot treat the carcinoma stomach then you just do a palliative anterior gastro jejunostomy. Primary if it is there you can resect it. If it, there is obstructive jaundice then you relieve the obstruction. That's it. Right? Allow the bile to flow. Chemotherapy you can do 5-FU5 fluorouracil. Embolization of hepatic artery what will you do with it? Gel foam which is cheap temporary, sal salvon, spo sal salvon sponge, steel coil, bicrylate these are all permanent. How will this work? They will lead to the necrosis of the liver, size of the liver gets reduced and there will be decrease in pain. Wow. Okay. So now take this question. Commonest gastrointestinal tract primary in a nodular liver secondary is from commonest gastrointestinal tract primary that means some uh, cancer of the gastrointestinal tract which has gone to the liver which is the most common no? stomach okay answer is stomach then next question following are the true uh, for the uh, following are true for the, uh, for clinical features of carcinoma rectum except so can you say tenesmus bloody smile bloody smile liver secondaries Liver, liver secondaries. Liver so, <clears throat> we know liver secondaries is caused by um, carcinoma rectum. Bloody smile, slime seems about right. Tenesmus, incomplete evacuation, feeling of incomplete evacuation seems about right. So, the answer is closed loop obstruction. Okay, people. So, in this video, we are done with liver secondaries. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye.